Hello everyone, in, this is a short uh, uh, session in which we are going to discuss how to create a package in SAP software. Uh, it's, it's been mandatory for all the SAP BW, so, BW constraints as well to uh, create a package and then move everything into that. Uh, we already have it uh, from long time in SAP ABAP. So to create a package, we need to go to a transaction code called SE80 or SE21. SE80 is a ABAP workbench. You can do a lot of things other than creation of creation of a package here. Uh, but you you can also exclusively go to SE21 transaction, which is specifically only to create a package. So let's create a package from both the transactions. Let's create it from SE80 and SE21. Remember, whenever you are creating a package system will insist you to save it under a request number this request number have to be generated you cannot give your own request number it is a system generated request number whenever you have a system generated request number that can be used for moving your moving your developments from development to quality quality to production so for understanding that you can you can watch my another video in which we have the in uh, which we in which we have the system landscape and the transport organizer so both are they both are already there in the system and then we can discuss about that and uh, uh, yeah so we'll go ahead with the concept in the in the in the let's let's uh, do it on the system now now here uh, i'm going to a transaction code called se80 let me do it from se80 first um, uh, this is an se80 transaction in which i'm I've just you know okay z vikramaditya is already there i'll go for z with process and uh, i'll just click on this watch button and does not exist do you want to create say yes this is se80 transaction so we process package and just say okay and this is already existing request number we would like to create a new request uh, for new request for we process and just say okay say okay and this is a this is a package that we have successfully created this is this we have done it from the uh, the one from the SE80 transaction. Let's go back and do it. Do the similar thing from SE21 transaction. So we can also do that from SE21 transaction. Let's go into that. I'm logging into SE21 transaction. And this you can give some package, say Z JHSoft, and then say OK. JSoft, click on create. Then you can say JHSoft package say okay and this was the earlier request number it will always show you the latest request number which was used so we would not like to uh, save our jets after developments under the v process uh, uh, request number so we will create another request number for jets of tech new request for jets of tech and then once it's been done just click on this save button and once say okay and this request number also can be used. So these 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 are the these are the two two ways in which we can create a package, and uh, we can save all our developments under the package. Uh, led after that, you, whenever there is a pop up which which asks you for a package name, then you can give this. For example, when when you are looking at from the you know uh, BW point of view, from the BW perspective, let's say I, I'm just creating a, a, a for example like I'm creating. Uh, uh, info object then we click on maintain say okay and then uh, I go for this then activate and here instead of dollar tmp we need to give that uh, request number which we have just now done so I'll give a, a process and then say okay and this was the last request number you can click on own request number whenever you are already we are sure that you already have an other request number under which we can save it uh, no need to create the request number every time so you can select the request number i'll repeat what i said you can click on own request and then click on the swift transaction code uh, the request number and just say okay this development will be saved under that particular request number so this is how you can make use of that request uh, package and then uh, save it at save out all your developments in the package the same thing happens with abap abap developments as well you will get the same kind of pop up and you need to give the package name there and save it and it will ask you for a request number you can either select the existing request number or you can create your own request number but make sure you don't save it under other 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 request number because while releasing the objects it will become a big problem okay thanks for watching this video Thank you.